Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in this video, we are going to solve TCS NQT practice coaching questions. Solving these questions will give you a knowledge of how to tackle problem solving in your TCS NQT exams. And you will also understand basic details about codings, coding questions that comes in your TCS NQT examination. Make sure to watch the video till complete end. And if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the important updates from my channel going forward. There is a complete playlist on TCS NQT that I am creating. I have already uploaded topic wise preparation videos on that. If, if you have not checked it yet, make sure to check that too, as I'm very sure that it will be very helpful for you. So without wasting any time, let's get started with today's topic. Let's look at this question. What we need to do here is find the maximum element in an array in Python. Okay, so we have this code here. What we have done is we have taken a function find max inside that we are taking array as the input. Okay, so now what we will do is initially it will we will assume that uh, the first element is the maximum of our array. Okay, assume first element is maximum. Okay, because from here only we will start the calculations. Then we have taken a for loop. Okay, in this for loop is uh, it will loop through the array to find the largest element in the array. Now uh, we have done for num in array and then we are doing a if condition check. So if our current number is greater than the maximum element, then what we need to do update the max element. Okay, that is update the max element with the current number. And finally, uh, like we have to return the maximum element that we have found in the array. So if you see, uh, like we have this thing, right? Five. 3917. Okay. So maximum element initially will be what? We will take the first element, right? As I told you, so it will be 5. Okay. Then you will come in this for loop and it will loop every uh, loop over every element. Okay. Then it will check if num value is greater than maximum element. Okay. If not, then uh, if not, then it will just go again to the next element itself. Okay. If it is, then it will stop. For example, let's see if we are on 3, this num value is greater than max element. No. So it will just escape it and move on to the next value, which is nine. So this case is true in this case, like nine is greater than five. So what it will do, it will update the max value or max element with the nine value, right? In the same way, it will move forward again. One is smaller than nine. So it won't even go in the if condition. Uh, one is not greater than nine. So it won't go in the if condition. Next is seven. Seven is also not go, uh, greater than nine. So again, it will not go into this condition. And the for loop will be completed because of we have traversed the entire array. Now, whatever is the value stored in the max element will be our maximum value. That is why we are returning the max element at the end. So this is the simplest implementation. Moving on to the next question. Let's look at this question now. See, in this question, what we are asked is calculate the Fibonacci sequence up to a certain number in Python. Okay. So here we have a what is a Fibonacci series? First of all, let me tell you. See, Fibonacci series is a series where the next number is the sum of last two digits. Okay. So initial two digits are 0 and 1. So next digit will be what? 0 plus 1. Okay. And now the next digit will be what? 1 plus 1, which will be 2. In the same way, if we will move forward, 1 plus 2 will be 3. Next is 3 plus 2 will be 5. 5 plus 3 will be 8. So and and so forth, you can generate the Fibonacci series. Okay. Now, what our question is, we will, what we will take the things as we need to implement a Fibonacci function, okay, where we will put, put the input value, okay. Now, for example, if you are passing value as 50, so we have to give all the Fibonacci numbers which are there before 50, okay, which are, so see, until 34, next value will be what, 34 plus 21, which is greater than 50. So we will not do that value, okay. So we will give all the Fibonacci series from 0 until the value which is small, uh, smaller than 50, okay. Hope you understood the problem statement. Now, now let's see how we are implementing it here. We have taken a function name which is Fibonacci and then we are taking n as the input which is going to be our value Okay, until where we need to uh, generate the Fibonacci series. Now what is this one? Fibonacci sequence. So I told you right initial, we need, initially we need to have the sequence with zero first two elements right which is zero and one. So This is for that. Okay. Next is what? while we are running a while loop and then what this while loop is doing is it is continuing to generate the Fibonacci numbers until the last number is greater than or equal to n. See here we have taken n right. So it will generate the Fibonacci series until and until until and unless the value becomes greater than n. Okay. So it should not go beyond n. So until n we should stop. Okay. So that is the while condition that we are using here. What is next thing? Here, this is the main logic of Fibonacci series. If you see, right, uh, what we are doing is we are adding the sum of last two digits uh, in the 
sequence to extend it see this this is appending right so whatever our sequence was previously for example our sequence was 0 and 1 so it will append to this sequence what what it will append it will append that Fibonacci sequence of minus 1 plus Fibonacci sequence of minus 2 now what is this minus 1 and minus 2 minus 1 and minus 2 are your index values so if your in current index value is 2 then you have to take the Fibonacci sequence of minus 1 which is going to be your 1 value and then on uh, minus 2 which is going to be your 0 value add them up and then append it to this uh, array or your string whatever so then in this case it is going to be 2 in this way you will generate the Fibonacci se sequence until unless you will get this uh, reach this 50 value and then finally you will return your Fibonacci sequence okay so in this way you will get your output as in this sequence okay so hope you have understood it let's now move on to the next question let's look at this question remove duplicates from a list in python okay so see how we can implement this first of all uh, let's take one example we have this array okay 1 2 2 3 4 4 and 5 so after removing the duplicates duplicates as in there should be no two occurrences of the same digit so two is twice so we will remove the duplicate one and then we will just write it only once then we have three only at once and then we have four twice so we have to write it only once then we have five so we have written five okay so in this way our unique series will be something like this so how can we implement this one now so let's see how we have implemented we have taken a function remove duplicates and then we are taking an array this is taking an array inside it okay so what we are doing here is see what we are doing here is like we are converting the list okay to a set to remove the duplicates and then we are converting it back to a list see first of all this array is what a list okay then initially we are converting it to a set because you know set in python has a property that it automatically removes the duplicate values okay so once we convert it to set all the duplicates are removed right and then we have to return the value so then we are again converting into a list by writing it in this way so our final answer will have uh, the list with without any duplicates okay so this is the easiest way of doing this uh, so i hope you have understood for any questions or you can ask in the comment section any doubts let's move on to the next question now Let's look at this question. In this question, what we need to do is we need to find the sum of digits of a number in Python. So see, you will have be having a number like this, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What you need to do is we need to do the summation, okay? That is, you need to find the sum in this way. So the sum will be 15, okay? So how you can do that in the easiest way possible? So for that, what we have done is we have taken a function, which is sum of digits, and it is accepting the uh, this digit, okay, which has multiple numbers in it. Now, how to proceed? See, first of all, what we will do is we will convert this number to a string, okay? Why we are converting is because iterating over a uh, string is easy, right? Because see, this is a sing single digit in this one, right? And what we need to do uh, in this digit, we have to traverse over every single digit of it, right? This one, this one. So, if we convert it into a string, it will be easy for us to traverse. So, that is why what we have done. First of all, we will convert it into a string and then using for loop, we will iterate over it okay so first of all if you see this was our num number in integer okay you can say that one two three four five now we converted into a string one two three four five this is in a string now what we will do we are running a for loop like one two three okay and then we are running a sum function over that what that will do that will like add up whenever we have a value so initially when our value is one then the next value when it will come will be two next will be three and then next will be 4 and then next is 5 so in this way it will add up all the values and finally it will we will just print the output of this function which we have okay that is sum of digits so the final output we will have is 15 so in the return value we will get 15 as the output which is the summation of all the digits hope you have got it so that's all for today guys i hope you found the video helpful if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram and instagram as well you can ask your queries in the instagram dm as well and if you need any content you can request it on your on our telegram channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates i regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel so that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video